Dead Sush is comedy movie, action movie, horror movie, crazy movie, family movie, panic movie. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so you can just say. Hi. Now with sushi nunchucks. <laughs> Before we started the film, um, we're going to have a special greeting from the director Iguchi, who unfortunately couldn't be here, but he filmed a, a greeting for our Hawaii audiences. And uh, Kathy's going to do a tra translate at the same time. Um, and also, please stick around for the Q&A, because we, aside from Rina coming back, uh, we're also going to have some great presents and treats from the movie that they're going to give up to you, so, so not, I don't know about that sushi, but it's just crazy. But like, uh, but stick around for that, it's going to be a really, really treat, a real great treat. So, again, dead sushi. Let's give another round of warm applause for Rina Takeda. She wants to know if everybody here wants to eat sushi now. <laughs> So, before we start the Q&A, um, Rina's going to show her martial arts prowess again. Uh, she's played a, a character called the High Kick Girl in a previous film, and she's going to demonstrate that right now. And I'm going to be the uh, victim or guinea pig or whatever. This is a bottle signed by Rina, and she's going to pick it up my hand. So, and into the audience, so... <laughs> start off with a question. Oh, I'm going to translate. Um, how did you get involved with the project? How did you get involved with the film? えっとですね、あの、ま、いきなり監督の方から出演をしてくれないかというオファーが、あの、来まして、最初にあの台本をいただいたんですけど、プロットっていうんですかね。台本もらってこれ私できるかなって正直思いました。I received an offer from the director himself, and when I read the script, I really didn't know if I could do this. あの、なんですかね、撮影してる間も。やっぱものすごくクレイジーな作品なのでなんかもうここにいて大丈夫かなって思ったんですけどあのどんどん麻痺してって私もクレイジーになっていきました<笑> 
Throughout the filming, uh, as you can see, it was a crazy production. I had my sincere doubts about whether I could continue on with this project, but mm -hmm. as the filming went on, I became um, immune to this whole craziness and I became crazy myself. <laughs> what I like about this film from other Iguchi films, and all the Iguchi films are fantastic, but what I like about this film is because it's most, I think it's the most accessible out of all the Iguchi films because of, because of you. think yeah I mean it has all the, the, the grotesqueness and all the craziness but you really make it about family and I think it's do you, <laughs> she does yeah. do you guys don't agree do you guys agree right so um were you a martial artist first when you were growing up, or actress first? え、ですね。小学校 1年生くらいの時、ちょっとなんか 6歳 いい I started auditioning um, because I wanted to be an actress and I wanted to act when I uh, was in the fifth, first grade, six years old. And I um, went to many, many auditions, but I really wasn't getting uh, much success about it. So I started um, taking karate lessons and I realized that um, I really liked karate and I really wanted to act. So action was a way to combine my, my interests. So, so what do you think is... Oh, sorry, yes? Hi, hi, hi. Okay, so for a quick few questions from the... We have five Five posters to give away, five autograph posters. And we'll give it to whoever asks the question. So who wants to ask the question first? Who wants posters? You, you start. Um, I've seen several of the directors, and he's ever wondering if she ever asked him where he gets some of the ideas from. It's always creative. It's never how much it's そうですね。どうなんですかね。でも、あの、台本に書いてあることもそうなんですけど、現場でいきなりパッと思いつくことがあるみたいで、りなちゃんこれやってみてって言われて、え、なんかことが多いですね。だから多分すごい、なんていう
Japan, a lot of sushi chefs take sushi very seriously. I was just wondering if there is any sort of negative feedback from Gen Z or genuine sushi makers. Sushi. 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 The question is, does, does we don't know if any sushi chefs have, have they seen the film? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, あの、あ、実際にあ、あの、YouTubeで予告編が今流れてるんですけど、それを見た人たちはあの寿司が食べれなくなったってよく言うんですね。でもあの今まだ日本では公開しないんですけど、海外で流すと逆に見終わった後み
この寿司の声をやってるのは音楽を作ってる<笑>、えー、音楽プロデューサーの人が声をやってます、えー、ラストに2個、えー、質問してくださった方に恵子ちゃんから直接プレゼントしますあっと The voice of Eggy, or Tamako-chan, it's actually the,、uh, the person that voiced the、um, Eggy voice is the sound producer for this movie. So、uh, we have two Eggies to give out. So the last two people who、uh, present us with questions will receive the Eggy directly from. Just throw it. From Ms. Pina Takeda. <laughs> えっ、ー、とぜひあデッドズ2ツーはインハワイでよろしくお願いします。<笑> Girl は自分の得意な空手を生かしているのであの、まあ、どっちかというとやりやすかったんですけど今回、まあ、私人間とは戦ったことあるんですけど寿司とは戦ったことないのでもうそれはちょっと怖かったです<笑>こっちの方が難しかったです、はい um, Because Hi Kick Girl was all about karate、uh, it was、um, fun for me to, to film however I fought human I fought against human beings, but I never fought against sushi. <laughs> so, so, this was really scary for me. So, the action in, in this movie is more difficult for me. I have one, one more question. I'll do the last question. For me, me, me. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, Rina,、um, what is her next role? What is her next film? あの企画はいくつか決まってるんですけど来年公開であの今あんまりないフィルムっていうんですか、ね、デジタルじゃなくてフィルムの映画が来年公開されます主演で一応やらせていただきます35ミリはい Um, there are several projects that I have in、um, schedule. Uh, uh, next year,、um, a 35mm film that I participated in will be、um, screened in Japan next year. It's not an action movie, unfortunately. Or fortunately. <laughs> おじいちゃんと孫娘のお話なんですけど、まあ、ヒューマンドラマといった感じです Bring it back here and also hopefully bring back Rina Takeda back to Hawaii. So, again, another round of applause for Rina Takeda. And also the people from Monica Blue. And、uh, thanks for coming and enjoy the rest of the festival. Mahalo.